We at the Scathing Atheist are firm believers that size doesn't matter. We're still willing to give the full god-awful treatment to even the smallest of god-awful content in a segment that we call God-Awful Minis. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? We watched Christian? Question mark? The short film. It's the story of apparently getting trapped in a conversation about Bitcoin, except Bitcoin is Jesus. That's what we want. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. (laughs) It's cryptocurrency. (laughs) Truly. And Eli, how bad was this mini? Well, if you're Christian, are you? Yes. Well, then you'll hate this movie. I hated this movie. (laughs) Is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best to be the worst at? Yeah, I'm going to go with best worst. Christian writers describing a social event, a party yeah. of any sort ever. Because we get that a lot, very badly. Where in, will be the beers? It's so good. <laughs> Just them being like, the alcohol party of youth drinking has started. <laughs> Risk behavior party youth. Rob? I have given into peer pressure. Have you? Yeah, right, right. So I was going to, very similarly, I was going to go with best worst sins. All right, because this is all about this guy being confronted by his sins. And his sins are like vaguely not good to the girls that he dated, but they're never going to specify in what way. So yeah, he could just have dated multiple people. Right. That's it for, for as much as we know. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go with best worst base your worldview on a book spokesman. We'll, we'll talk about it when we okay. get to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So yeah, we're just, we're going to start off staring at a door for a super long time. It's until pretty it- long. It's a, <laughs> it's a long establishing shot of the concept of door. Yep. I got it eventually. But eventually, yeah, some college kids come out of that door, leaving a class. We hear... Megan turned to her boyfriend, John, and complained about how long that class was. And I was like, yeah, I've been staring at a door for three fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably long because it's about, I don't know, real stuff. That that would just be my guess because they're at college. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we get a taste of how excellent the writing is going to be in this thing when she says, why does class have to last so long? <laughs> <laughs> And then she immediately follows that up with, are you going to the party? To which he responds, do you know me? And then and then he has to clarify. I mean, that, that means, yes, that I am. Yes, going to, I, I, I would go to the party. Do you even know me? I am. I invented the party. The big party is me. And yeah. She's like, yeah. So, so yes, you're going to just, just, you can just say yes. Yes would be fine as well. Yeah. So they, they wander off. And then we watch Becca hook up with Julie and friend at each other. Very naturally. It very it comes across as very natural. Hello, Julie is your first name. Uh, hello. Today. Oh, hello, Becca, oh, which well, is your first name. Becca. Ah, uh, there goes, uh, what's his name? And his new, quote from the movie, Bay of the Day. Yeah. <laughs> Using that. Yep. We are all youths together. We sure are, Becca. We sure are, Julie. <laughs> so, and they're like, I, you know, they're wondering how John hooked up with Megan. And one of them says, you know, he probably pretended to be a good Christian like he did Gets with all us. the ladies. The classic, I'm a Christian line. Fucking spee loosh. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so, am I right, ladies? Am I right? <laughs> And so, and then they ask each other if they're going to the party and one says, and I quote, who's bringing the alcohol? Who is bringing the alcohol? (laughs) And the other one says, you know, he always has a stash. He has a whole stash. A stash of of the alcohols? Yeah. Like you got to kister that when you're on a campus. (laughs) Tricky. Also exact quote. Michael's parties are known to be the craziest. Yes, they sure are. Michael has the craziest parties. Did they have this movie written by the people who send you those scam texts saying that they have a job opening for (laughs) (laughs) $100,000? So, yeah, so they just, they talk about how they sure hope there are sufficient risk behaviors to indulge in. And then we cut back to John, who, damn it, he forgot his keys and he's got to run back to the classroom and leave Megan behind. Oh, no, I hate to chime in here, but it's not damn it, he forgot his keys. No. It's, snap, I forgot my keys. <laughs> yep, it sure the fuck is. Yahtzee forgot my keys. No, that was crazy. That was crazy. I'm going to take it again. Too much. going to take it again. For show, for show. Boom shakalaka keys. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Some, I'm close. I'm close. Oh, snap, I forgot my keys. 
Yeah. So so he goes back to the classroom where he has apparently left his keys under the desk. Why not something that would make sense? Yeah. What physically happened right. in your life there? Yes, exactly. You know, I was I was hacky sacking with him under the desk and I forgot. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, but he gets his keys and then he goes to leave. And damn it, if he isn't locked in the classroom. Yeah. yeah. He tries for zero seconds to, quote unquote, open the door before he accidentally opens the door and then has to pretend that he didn't. Yes. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh, shit. So he's trapped in a classroom. And I was like, okay, where are we going with this? Like a, like a horror movie about learning evolutionary biology or something? Oh, right. Yeah. No. No. Exact opposite. But then all of a sudden, there's a magical black guy in the room. This is Gabe. And Gabe is curiously unhelpful about getting out of the room. He goes, what, what are you in a hurry to get to? And I'm just like, are you suggesting that he just live in that room now? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's this great moment. He turns to him and he goes, wait, were you here the whole time? And Gabe goes, sure. And I wrote my notes. I feel like that means no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Gabe's a dick now because he didn't say anything when the person came into the the locked room that he knew would lock behind him. He's just sitting there. Yeah, I guess. Wanted some company. I guess, yeah. Well, and look, as far as John knows, Gabe has locked him in this room, right? If John responds by attacking Gabe. It, it, it's reasonable. Right. But Gabe's like, hey, look, we're, all, we're both stuck in this room together. Why don't you expose it? A bit. Yes. Right? Hey, we're trapped in this room together. Uh, what parts of yourself do you find most essential? <laughs> yeah, yes. There's a moment here, too, where John, like, pulls out his phone, and I think he's supposed to be sending a text, and and maybe it's supposed to be that his phone isn't working, but it's so poorly filmed that I can't tell. Oh, yeah. He, he takes, yeah, I think it went dead. Yeah, it went dead, and he does that thing where the phone shows you, like, you have to plug it in, which means they definitely just waited for this guy's phone to die, and they were like, quick, quick, film it. We only yeah, get a couple of these. Yeah. <laughs> How do you let your phone get even close to zero battery ever? That's insane to me. So, so then there's this amazing moment where he goes to the lectern, and he's going to look for the keys for the door, and he looks in four places. He says... I looked everywhere. And then he looks in four different places after he says that. Yeah. He gives the lectern a concert pat down. You yeah, know, yeah. he's like, uh, uh, keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> so. More generally, why would the college have rooms that lock you in? In, yeah. Is that a thing? Well, they don't. They don't, which is really the crux of this film. Is It's very clearly a door without a lock on it, and he has to be, like, touching the door, yep. I promise. Yeah, I don't bang too hard. So, yeah, so, but Gabe introduces himself and introduces, like, John, too, because we haven't gotten his name yet. He says, so, you, so who are you, John? And John, instead of punching him in the nose, like a reasonable person would, he says, well... I'm a good person. <laughs> and we're, ex oh, we're all expecting him to go Ray Comfort, but he doesn't. He goes, I was hearing Ray Comfort for sure. Yep. Hey, but Gabe goes, no one's a good person except God alone. And John has this like, oh, you got me face. He goes, right. No, you're right. I'm not a good person. I'm a good Christian. Ugh, yeah. Dude, I'm already a Christian. Run your trap on someone else. Unlock the door, whatever. I'm, I'm good to go on Christianity. But is he? Right. Is the question. And again, like the question that comes up at this point is, okay, well then who is this movie for? Right? People who've bought the Maytag refrigerator but might want to buy a second one to fit inside <laughs> it. <laughs> so, well, yeah. And so Gabe says, well, you know, what is a Christian? And he's like, I don't fucking know, man. And he goes, would Julie and Rebecca, those two girls that were friends that were talking very naturally about the party, I don't know what the fuck the fucking skating atheist guys are talking about. <laughs> Would they call you a Christian? And he goes, uh, I go to church. I helped a homeless once. Once? <laughs> so Gabe goes, have you ever even read the Bible? And and then it was like John Hems and Hawes, but he admits that no, he has not read 1,200 pages of archaic bullshit, right? Cover to cover. Yeah. And, and Gabe's response to this is, well, if you're not reading the Bible, what do you use to define a Christian? And I just feel like a person with black skin, even if they're an angel in disguise or whatever, 
probably doesn't want people to define what a Christian is by the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I might right. have picked a different package if I was supporting that book. <laughs> Absolutely. And the actual answer from the Bible is fucking insane. I mean, it, like, it's a solid point before you think about that, about you should actually read the Bible. I think everybody should actually read the Bible and stop being Christian because of it. Right. That's not what the movie meant at all. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I just consider how little you would actually learn from just reading the Bible cover to cover for fuck's sake. So, but then Gabe asks what he wants to be when he grows up, I guess. Yeah. And he talks about like normal things to want. And Gabe is like, will that make you happy? And it's like, what besides the normal goals of life would make a person happy? But the the answer is apparently God. Yes, right. Which, 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 his answer, because he, he says, what do you want out of life? And he's like, well, you know, good job, house, car, family. You know, and he's like, oh, that materialism will never bring you happiness. He's like, all right, I want to fucking love God and glorify him or whatever. Jesus, can you open the fucking door? Right. <laughs> and then I love this quote so much. He goes, you want to hear something crazy? And I wrote in my notes, uh, this has been the whole time. We're not now introducing yes. crazy. <laughs> is it that you found a way to lock me in a room and give an annoying <laughs> speech about Jesus? Is that what you're about to say? Yeah, but this is the actual quote that he says is something crazy. There's something you've heard all about, but no, nothing about. About, yes, <laughs> yes. And and even, even John has to go, let me guess, are you going to tell me about Jesus? And he's like, yes, it's about Jesus. Yeah. And they talk about Jesus. But right after that, like almost his next line is he says, well, it sounds like you know about Jesus, but you don't know Jesus. And I'm like, your last fucking line was that you don't know anything about Jesus. Right. Those lines had to be on the same page of the fucking right script next to each other. And they keep doing this. They're like saying it in two different tones of voice thing like, you know about Jesus, but you don't know no about, about Jesus. Yeah, yes. right. that, that's yes. the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Literally the whole point. Pretty much. Yeah. John goes back. He pounds on the door some more. And then he angrily stalks from one door to the other. And Gabe heckles him about the greatest commandment. Are they ranked? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are the commandments ranked? No, oh, yeah, yeah. No, the, the number... I know they have numbers, but like, are they in like, like priority order there? Not, not there, but number one is love your neighbor as yourself, except there's a bunch of other shit too. I feel like that's not a commandment, is it? Yeah. It's, it's one, not a it's commandment. Command. So it's literally it's one of the versions okay. <laughs> of when one person asks Jesus what the greatest commandment is, which is weird because there's a part of the book where God gives people commandments. Well, so right. it's, it's a very weird pull to be like, hey, oh, you know what the right. universally agreed upon great commandment is? Well, that's when they, they retconned the Judaism out to be yes, like, no, exactly. Jesus yeah. actually thinks this. This is more important. Right. But the thing is, too, is that like the love your neighbor as yourself is like the third of the three things that Jesus says. Right. But it's the only good one. So that's the one they focus on. So, yeah. But but John tells us that, again, he is Christian. He does love Jesus. He goes to church every Sunday and he prays before every meal. Damn it. And Gabe is like, well, is Christianity a title or a lifestyle? Yeah. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. That's yes, the yeah. But like, here's the crazy thing. He's in the religion. Why would you make the character who you're trying to prove you can't, you have to do all these things, do all the things, right? Because he goes to church. Just have a Christian character who doesn't go to church, who doesn't pray before every meal. Yeah. He does all the things that you're claiming are supposed to be part of that lifestyle. It's very weird. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're claiming a lot about Jesus and how to behave, but I don't know if you're claiming a lot about Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you gotta exactly. use that back on him at that point. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. But but yeah, but Gabe explains that that a real Christian would never go to Michael's wild, crazy party with the <laughs> alcohol. I just love the idea that there are school shootings happening all over the nation and Gabe the angel comes down to be like, I gotta stop John from going to that party. Yeah, there's gonna be risk behaviors. Yeah. No, he, he explains that the parties will never fill him up the way that the Bible will. He says, and I quote, and this is the, they wrote the entire short film around this line. You can't expect a clean house just by owning a vacuum. Oh, shit. Get, get a Roomba. Yes, you can. That's yeah, right. That's actually, actually, yeah, you can now. But yeah, but, but that's the fucking money shot because then the door opens and Gabe Batman's away. <laughs> so then he, he walks out of the room all stupid faced and Megan is out there and she's like, Finally, where have you been? And I'm like, 
In the room he told you he was going to that you're you sitting outside. Why didn't window? you check on me this whole time? <laughs> I've been pounding on the fucking door, Megan. Jesus. Where have you been? Right? Yeah. Could have rescued me from Gabe the asshole. But yeah, but but he starts to leave and she's like, we're going to be late for the party. And he thinks about it. And we fade to black. That's the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, she literally, the girl turns into. <laughs> yes. Uh, because, you know, yep. he's Christian now. And that means not listening to women. <laughs> oh, right. OK, that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, tracks. But yeah, that's it. That's literally it. We, we get the it fades to black and then we get a Bible quote and we get credits. Yeah. The, she doesn't even go here of the Bible quotes. Oh, yeah, right, right. It says, uh, whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar. And the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Okay, so... You got to wander the desert? Like, I spit on blind guys? I don't understand. <laughs> Kill trees? You got to trap people in a room for a weird speech about yeah, very Jesus unclear, Bitcoin? Yeah. Fuck off. Right. Nobody's doing that. So the, my big takeaway was in this Bible quote, they kept leaving out periods. There's like two periods missing in the fucking Bible quote because they're like, no, when you, when you hit enter, it doesn't matter if there's a period or something. <laughs> I don't know. Drove me fucking nuts. It pissed me off more than anything else in the movie. It's just shifted all the way over to the left because of a note on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so with that reminder that it's not enough to be in the club, you have to never shut the fuck up about it. I guess we'll wrap up the segment, but we'll be back soon with another God Awful Mini. <laughs> 